Okay, before this video starts, make sure you have liked and subscribed for more content like this one. And in this video, I'll be talking about tips and tricks for you guys, so you guys can be like stronger as a player. You know, get good, get traits. You know, a lot of gems, a lot of gold, a lot of ways to get more evil items, tiny tasks, what you should be doing and what you should not be doing. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video here. So let's get to this video. Make sure you have liked. And make sure you comment more for more content like this one. And yeah. So the first tip is that not much people know this. But you can go ahead and summon for like on the banner multiple times by just going in and out of the like you know like the circle. And you can keep doing this for multiple times. I use this when I have like a bunch of gems, you know, when I'm going for mash. But a lot of people don't know that. And that is one of the tips there. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, so the second tip is not much people know this, but the tip is you should never evolve. I mean you should never get a statue on a unit. I mean you could if you want to, but it's not worth it. Don't do any stat stat re I mean like stat rerolls like like rollbacks on your stats if your unit is on wall because it's gonna be pointless because they're because they would get a reset anyways. Like if you see my Gojo here, his stats are wiped and you can't you know you don't have the one stat you had when he was evolved. When when he wasn't evolved. So that's what a lot of people don't know. Alright for tip Three, let's talk about story and not a lot of people know this but if you go ahead and pop it to story and you do every single nightmare one you could get more gems over time which would be more units you could get if you're starting off if you're like a beginner you get more gems more you know and you could get what you want but not a lot of people know that but I'm just putting that putting it out there you get more stuff from your quests more gems more everything it's very worth it so go ahead and do a nightmare if you can't sell away go ahead and get other players on my discord server down in the description there's a lot of people you can talk to and a lot of players you can play with so go ahead and do that all right so the next tip is if you see a bacon hair or an acorn hair on anime clash most likely they are on an alt and they have broken traits and you don't want to mess with them because they're silly overpowered you want to see you want to stay close to them because they'll carry you most likely in story if they have a lot of mythical units level 75 75 72 whatever they are stacked at the game they are like the best players in the game for real you should play with them and yeah also not much people know this but if you go ahead and go into your inventory you could have the ability to sell your units and a lot of people don't know that but you can sell your units for gold I mean if you played anime adventures you will know this but if you haven't you can sell your units for gold you may get like you may use gold for like evil materials or whatever in the future updates but for now we can't do anything with gold so you know get your gold up for, for some reason and you know save up you never know what you could need gold for it's very important so go ahead and start selling your units because fusing would not really give you units any uh, well it wouldn't give you units that much xp compared to others i mean to, compared to playing but you know it's a possibility cool. so when you're playing in a match you may not know that your unit idol has the ability to buff units and she gives yen she buffs your units range by the way you see right here miami is doing um you know he has no range buff he has 35 range and when I use Oshi his range increases significantly so that's really cool there alright so this next tip is for some beginners and a lot of people don't know 
that you can get all the evil items in the game by doing challenges so that's pretty simple right there you go ahead hop into the game you get every evil item or well, possibility of getting every evil item when you're playing challenges so that's a good tip right there make sure you're doing everything you need to do and yeah all right so then the last tip is that you guys could go ahead and tally test story or raids for whatever you guys need you can still do it but you can only do it on the naruto map here and I'll be showing you guys a video of me tiny tasking. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Just watch what I do. And, you know, yeah. But that's the end of the video. Hope you guys like, subscribe. If you want more content like this one, make sure you guys let me know down, down in the description. Turn on notifications, of course, you know, join my Discord server. All right, so peace. Superstar!